Good morning. So I'll just give it another minute or two or another couple of minutes um, for people to log in. Okay, so I'll get started now in a couple of seconds, but um, if you have a towel handy, um, so I just have a towel there, so we're just going to do a couple of leg exercises and hip openers with the towel. So if you want to grab a towel or something that you can attach around your foot that you can reach. Okay, so I'll just give you a minute. If we don't wake everyone up in the house to grab that. And then anyone that's tuned in, don't forget to comment and let me know. So, ready until we get going then. Perfect, so if we've got the towel ready, and if you have a mat or a blanket or something that you can lie on, we will get started. Okay, so thanks really for joining in this morning, or you might be joining in at another point in the day. So we're at first thing in the morning here, so we have another full day of classes to come today, so 9.30, 1.15, quarter past five, 6.30, and eight o'clock, so try and make sure and join in to one if you can. So we'll come down, we'll start just lying flat on the mat. So we will just talk through our Pilates breath, talk through engaging the pelvic floor, and then we get a nice stretch. So in Pilates, your breath is probably one of the most important parts, but also it's about correcting posture. So we want to stretch, especially the backs of the hamstrings open up, um, so that we can get length through the limbs, which will give us a better posture, okay? So we'll start, we'll just plant the feet onto the mat to start, and just gently close the eyes down, just get your hands on your hips and the pelvis, and just play around, so let the hips fall forward, let them fall back, and just find that neutral position where your lower back is just nice and relaxed and placed into the mat. So try to have no arch in the lower back. And then from there, then you can let the legs relax down just for the first, for the first couple of seconds. And we'll just slow the body down to so just to connect ourselves. So 
we're probably at home doing this workout. So we just want to switch off from everything that's going on at home. And we just want to imagine that we're here in the class. So imagine that you're here in my class and then just let yourself relax. So just pull the shoulders down away from the ears. So you want to lie with a nice long spine. So even when you're lying flat, you want to lie with a long spine and a nice tall posture. But we can let the feet just fall out to the side for now. Let the hands fall out to the side. And just let yourself relax for a moment. So just bring yourself into the room here, into the class. Just notice and check in with how you're feeling this morning. So if there's anywhere you're holding any aches or pains or any tightness in the muscles, just be mindful of those areas as you move through the class. And then don't push yourself into postures or into moves. Just move as far as you can. So just check in with how you feel right now today. And then as you move along, that's far enough for you on each one. Brilliant. Then we'll just start to talk through the Pilates breath. So you can bend the knees up if you wish, if you, if you think that you can feel that a little bit better from there. So that neutral pelvis. So from there then, I'll just um, tell us a few key points that help us to engage the pelvic floor and then use whichever one that connects with you. So it's all about mind-muscle connection. So you're imagining these points in your head, in your mind's eye, and they're trying to connect that pelvic floor from deep inside, okay? So if you imagine and think of your pubic bone here at the front, and then think of your tailbone there at the back, so just envis envisage the two points in your mind. And then as you exhale, you're imagining you're drawing those two spaces together and lifting up. So when you breathe in, take a nice big deep breath in. Keep a little bit of tension in the core so you are aware of engaging your core. But then as you exhale is where you lift up and draw the pubic bone and the tailbone towards each other. It can take a good while to get your Pilates breath, so take your time. So some people as well find it a little bit better if you make a diamond shape with your fingers and just hold it down around where the pelvic floor is situated. So I have the two index fingers here on the pubic bone and then draw up with each breath. So another way to think of the Pilates or Pilates breath in the pelvic floor is to think of your pelvis and your hips like a bowl. And then where the two forefingers are here in this triangle or in this permit, there's a band of muscle there on the bottom of that bowl down where the two index fingers are. And we're drawing and lifting up that band of muscle that wraps around from the pubic bone at the front all the way around to the tailbone at the back. So as you exhale, lift and draw up the bottom of that bone. Brilliant. And another way is to think of drawing it up a little bit higher. Some people find it easier to connect to here. So as you exhale, think of drawing, not physically, but from the inside, Drawing your navel, your belly button back towards your spine, but then pull the bottom of that bowl up at the same time. So everything from down below the belly button, lifting up towards underneath the rib cage. So just take another breath or two. Thinking of a few of those points. Engaging from the inside which takes a lot of concentration and practice. So take your time. And with every move, you lose it in and out of different moves. You can only hold your Pilates or your pelvic floor, your Pilates breath for a couple of seconds at a time. So it takes practice and concentration. Perfect, so think of all the muscles here all around. The hips coming in towards the pelvis, zip those in and lift everything up with each breath. Perfect. So keep the eyes closed as much as you can. Keep the concentration on that breath. 
And when we're ready, then from there, we'll just keep the feet planted. We'll just start to bring in a bit of movement. So gently just let the knees rock and fall from side to side. So nice and gentle to wake up first thing. So some of you could be coming home from work and joining in, or this could be during the day that you log into this workout. But we'll just start nice and gently for those that are tuned in right now live first thing in the morning. Brilliant. And from there then, we'll just hook the two knees in. Give ourselves a nice and rock from side to side, so massage all the way up along the spine. Perfect. Brilliant. Then we'll just open out the hips. So holding the right knee with the right hand, hold the left knee with the left hand. Let the left knee all the way out and up in the direction of the shoulder. And let the right knee out and all the way up in the direction of the right shoulder. So from there then, just lengthen the tailbone nice and long on the mat. So you're pulling the knees out and up. So your tailbone will start to lift. So just gently relax that lower back down onto the mat. Just pause for a second or two, just to open the hips gently. Brilliant, nice and gently from there. Bring them back in together, perfect. So let the left leg relax out. Try hover it off the ground, point the toes. So we're starting to build energy now through the limbs, elegance through the limbs and Pilates. Roll your shoulders back and down onto the mat. So a nice, long, tall spine. Hook this right knee in nice and tight. So feel a nice stretch there around the hips. Good. And then nice and gently swap sides. Hold the left knee in. Hover the right leg off the ground if you can. Leave it down if you need. Point the toes. Perfect. And then we'll just start to engage that breath. Lift, drawing the navel back towards the mat. Lift the shoulders up if that feels good to do so. If you've any trouble with the neck, you can leave the head down. So big deep breaths as you exhale. Engage the pelvic floor and slowly switch sides of the legs. Perfect. Big deep breath in to prepare and exhale on the movement. Let the leg all the way stretch out. Perfect. So nice, slow and steady. Hook that knee in nice and tight. Perfect. Brilliant. So let's do one or two more. Hook the knee in nice and tight. Stretch the leg out nice and long. Brilliant. Perfect. And last one. And then just gently hook the two knees in. Perfect. So from there then, stretch the left leg back out again, but this time leave it down onto the ground, and then we'll stretch the right leg. So big deep breath in, stretch all the way up nice and long. Flex your heel up towards the ceiling, so feel that stretch in the back of the hamstring, in the back of the calf. Perfect. So from there then, we're gently just going to walk the hands up along the leg, bring the nose up towards the knee. So see how it feels. It might feel a little bit stiff first thing. We're going to bring in the towel now in a moment. Stretch those legs a little bit further. Perfect. And then we come back to this one and notice the difference after we stretch and breathe through. So from there then, grab here at the back of the left leg. Lift that left heel all the way up towards the ceiling. So really flex the toes back behind the head. So you feel the stretch all the way down the back leg. And nice and gentle, we walk the hands up along on this side. Bring the nose up towards the knee. Perfect. So on each exhale, let the leg relax a little further. Brilliant. And from there then, if you can grab a hold of your towel, if you have a towel, or if you have a long band either, just something that you can get a little bit more mobility, more mobility into the stretch. So if you find it hard to hold your leg there as well, always bring in the towel. So don't be afraid to bring in the towel. It just gives you a little bit more leeway. So we'll place the towel on the instep of the right foot. We'll stretch out the left leg if we can. Roll the shoulders back and down onto the mat. So a nice, good stretch now in this class this morning. So from there then, you can keep a slight bend in your knee if you need. Don't worry if the leg doesn't stretch all the way up to the ceiling. Just work on that. So if your hamstring is quite tight, the knee is quite bent. So as you breathe in, fill the belly with air. But as you exhale in, do think about your pelvic floor, do think about your Pilates breath, and then try and press your foot up towards the ceiling to lengthen the leg a little bit more. Relax the arms down. If you're feeling good, then you can gently start to guide the leg back towards us using the towel. Small little micro movements, so nothing sudden. Working and moving on your breath. So on each exhale, let the tension go in the leg. We'll try and keep the core, the Pilates breath in mind. Perfect. Just feel the release in that right leg. Play around with the foot, let the toes point back towards us. 
The more we flex the heel up towards the ceiling, the more you'll feel it the whole way up the back of your leg. Brilliant. So the towel is on the right foot. We're just going to hold the towel with the right hand. We're going to place this left hand here onto the hip, the left hip. So we want to keep this hip nice and steady. So from there, then we're going to open up this right side. So as you breathe in, we stretch this right leg nice and long towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you're going to let this right leg fall all the way out towards the right hand side. Perfect. Big deep breath in, come back to center. Let the leg all the way up towards the ceiling again. Take your time, keep this left hip in position. As we exhale, gently guide the foot. Don't let the foot touch the ground because chances are this left hip has come off center. You want to keep the two hip bones pelvis nice and strong, nice and steady all the way back. And we'll do one more on this side. Big deep breath in, stretch the leg long. And as we exhale, gently keep it in the same line of motion. Gently let it out towards the side. Perfect. Nice and control. Come back to the center. So we're just going to do one more stretch on this right leg. So swap hands with the towel. So holding the towel in the left hand. Let your right hand out just down by your side. And then from there, big deep breath in. This time we're going to hold in position. We're going to exhale and let this right leg fall all the way out over the left. Just go as far as you can get in control. Start to feel the stretch here on the outside of this right glute all the way down the IT band and hold it there. So just move to where you can feel that stretch. Try to keep your right shoulder, the opposite shoulder, on the ground. Brilliant. So again, don't let yourself tip all the way over and lose the stretch. Perfect. Let's take another breath. Release on the exhale. And relax gently. Come back to the center. Perfect. So we'll bend that right leg down and we'll swap to the left leg. So holding the towel on the instep of the left foot this time. Brilliant. So notice that one leg might be a little bit stiffer. So my left leg is a little bit stiffer this morning. So lengthen out the right leg again nice and long. Roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Let the shoulders and the upper body relax. And from there then again, place the towel on the instep. And if you want, need to just work on straining the leg a little bit further, if that feels strong enough in the stretch, keep working on that. If you're feeling good then and you want to gently micro movements, bring the leg back towards you a little bit further with each exhale, you could do so. so Slow the mind down now, slow the breath down. As you exhale, be mindful of the Pilates breath, but more thinking about the release through the backs of the legs. Brilliant. So working on lengthening those long muscles through the legs. Out of our posture, opening the hips. Brilliant. So this time then we place the towel into the left hand, so left leg, left hand, place the right hand onto the right hip and from there. Big deep breath in again, stretch up nice and long and as we exhale, gently guide and let this left leg fall out towards the side. Perfect. So big deep breath in, slowly come back to center, keep the right hip in position. Perfect. Breath in, stretch long. Exhale, slow and steady, let the leg fall all the way out towards the side. Perfect. Brilliant. Big deep breath in, all the way back to center, perfect. And exhale, let the leg fall again, all the way out towards the side. Brilliant, take your time, keep the two shoulders on the mat, nice and slowly back to center, perfect. And the last one then with the down. So then we'll swap hands, we're gonna stretch the outside of the left glute and all the way down the IT band. So stretch the left leg up nice and tall, and from there, keep this left shoulder on the mat, let the left leg fall out towards the opposite side. So when you start to feel the stretch, pause and breathe into the stretch. Perfect. Lengthen the leg long. Feel it all here on the outside of the glute, outside of the IT band, keeping this left shoulder planted on the ground. Perfect. Take another breath or two. And nice and slowly come back to center. Perfect. So from there then, just bend the knee down. So just do that one last stretch just to see if there's any difference after we've released the legs. So holding on to the back of the right hamstring. From there then, nice and slowly walk the hands up. Big deep breaths, slight bend in the knee. Perfect. And nice and slowly relax, perfect. Swap to the opposite side. 
And from there, creep the hands up along this left side, bring the nose towards the knee. Brilliant. And relax. Perfect. So from there, then we're going to keep going with the legs. So focusing on the core as well, and we're going to work a good bit on the legs, opening up the legs and getting the legs nice and strong this morning. So we're going to walk the feet right back towards us, so into our glute bridge position. So we're going to take our time, take a good few breaths in this glute bridge position. So breathing in to prepare. As we exhale, we're placing our heels in towards the mat, the shoulders are rolled away from the ears. As we exhale then, lift the bottom of that bone, squeeze and tuck and zip everything in, and slowly peel vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up into our glute bridge position. Perfect. So you feel this here. Work at the backs of the glutes, backs of the hamstrings. We're also opening the chest. And this bottom of this bone where the pubic bone was is up in the air now. So you're drawing down with gravity, lifting the bottom of that bone, lifting that pelvic floor as you exhale. So take a couple of breaths here. So as you breathe in, we're still holding tension through the core. Perfect. So hold it strong and as you exhale, engage that pelvic floor. Keep the knees nice and steady. Perfect. Take one last breath. Brilliant. And from there, as you exhale, lift and squeeze. Draw the navel back towards the spine. Peel vertebrae by vertebrae all the way down towards the mat. Perfect. So we'll do another one of those. So we'll come all the way up. Take a big deep breath in to prepare. And as you exhale, squeeze. Lift the bottom of that bowl. Squeeze all the way up. Perfect. So then we'll just start to open the shoulders from here. So all the waves up through the ears. Keep that breath going. So on each exhale, we engage that Pilates breath. Engage the pelvic floor. From there then, we're going to start to open the shoulders. Brilliant. So big deep breath in. We're going to move the arms as one. We're going to open the arms all the way back behind. Perfect. Keep a squeeze up through the legs as you exhale. Engage the pelvic floor and slowly bring the arms all the way forward down by our side. So just bringing up movement in the whole body. Take another breath. Perfect. Big deep breath in. Open the arms nice and wide. Perfect. Keep a squeeze through the pelvic floor, the backs of the legs. Exhale. Draw the arms forward. Draw up that pelvic floor. Perfect. And we'll do one more. Brilliant. So keep strength up through the legs. Get it to feel the burn out through the glutes. Perfect. Keep the breath slow and steady. Inhale, open the arms nice and wide. Perfect. Exhale, squeeze. Draw the pelvic floor, bring the arms down by your sides. Brilliant. So nice and slowly then peel yourself down. Just take a second and then we move into our single leg glute bridge from there. Brilliant. So we've done a couple of these last evening. So nice and steady. Breath in to prepare and then as we exhale, we bring ourselves up into the double leg and then from there, we're going to place all the weight to our left heel. Take a big deep breath, bend the right knee in towards us and stretch this right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. So feel it here now, work through the left side. Good. So big deep breath in, the leg stretches long. As we exhale, draw the pelvic floor, bring the two knees in line, lower the right leg as one. Keep the exhale going, back up to the center. Perfectly. Do two more. Take a breath in to prepare. Exhale, squeeze. Engage the core all the way back up and keep it squeeze up through this left heel. Brilliant. One more. Breath in. Exhale on the movement. Keep the exhale going. Squeeze all the way up. Perfect. From there, bend that knee in and we'll go to the opposite side. Brilliant. So placing all the way through the right heel this time. Take a breath. Stretch and lengthen the left foot all the way up towards the ceiling. Brilliant. So big deep breath in, prepare, exhale slowly. Let that leg lower. Keep the exhale going all the way back up to center. Brilliant. Inhale to prepare. Take your time. Exhale, move the leg as one. Lower the knees in line, all the way back up. Perfect, and last one, last one. Length through the limbs, perfect. Exhale, lower, brilliant. Exhale, all the way back up, perfect. Bend the knee down. Take one more breath in this glute bridge position. And nice and slowly, all the way, let yourself down. Brilliant. So take your time then. Just give yourself a little rock from side to side. And then we'll just do one or two core moves before we come up into a seated position. Well done. Brilliant. So feel that, especially first thing in the morning on the backs of the legs. So we'll start off with our feet at tabletop position. 
So nice and steady through these ones, they're nice and straightforward. So make sure the knees is always aren't too far back. Keep that tailbone nice and long, knees above the hips, chins parallel towards the ceiling, so don't let the feet dangle down. So energy right to the tips of the toes. Engage the pelvic floor, engage the belly button in, scoop it in, lift the shoulders and tuck them up off the ground. Leave the head down if it gets too much. So just to start, we're going to tip one foot off the mat and back up. So breath in to prepare. As you exhale, one foot tips the mat, keep the exhale going, just lift. Brilliant, so a nice simple movement, breath in. Exhale, nice and steady, tip and back up, brilliant. So keep the legs nice and strong. Excellent, as you exhale, the leg tips down. Perfect, squeeze, brilliant. So use the pelvic floor, that center point, fire in the belly to lift the weight of the leg, brilliant. Well done, nice and steady, perfect. Lift, good, brilliant. Well done, we'll just do one or two more. Perfect, tip the foot, back up, keep the bend in the knee, perfect. Last one, bend in the knee, and back up, brilliant. Take a second there, well done. So from there then, we'll just come into our elbow to knee. So just getting that core fired up. So come back to the tabletop position, scoop and lift the shoulders, get out of the habit of putting your head, so just use the hands as a guide, as a support on the head. So from there, take a breath in to prepare. Then as we exhale, one head, leg stretches, opposite elbow comes up to the opposite knee. Brilliant, back to center. Take a breath in to prepare. Exhale as we switch and draw back together. Brilliant. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, nice and steady. Keep the lower back pushed into the floor, stretch the opposite leg long. Brilliant, we'll just do a couple more. Exhale, squeeze. All the way back to center, brilliant, big deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze, perfect, stretch long, back to center, good, last one. Exhale, squeeze, all the way, engage that pelvic floor to come back to center, brilliant. So take a second from there. So when we're ready then from there, we're gonna come into our straight leg sit up. So we're peeling our body off the mat, all the way forward and peeling our body all the way down. So you can take a drink first if you need, Going to check here at the time. Brilliant. So take your time. Excellent. Brilliant. Good. So good to see a few people. Let me know how you're getting on. Well done. So when you're ready, then we're going to do our peel up and down. Excellent. So we're lying flat on the mat. So nearly there, lying flat on the mat. So we're going to point the fingers and point the toes. You're going to take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale in, everything, all our power is coming here from this powerhouse from the pelvic floor. So try not to muscle yourself or use momentum to throw yourself up. Use that core to scoop the belly button in, lift the head, the shoulders first, and peel vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up off the mat. If you struggle to come up, Simply put the hands by your side, do the same thing, lift the shoulders, use the hands then to press you up, but don't push yourself up. Try and make that pelvic floor, make the tummy lift you up off the mat. So when you come up then, you're going to reach nice and long forward. You're going to take a big deep breath in and stretch all the way down the backs of our legs, all the way down the back of our spine, breath in. And then as we exhale, we're going to peel. Tuck, lift the bottom of that bone, vertebrae by vertebrae, curl your spine all the way down to the mat. Brilliant. Take a big deep breath in, so off we go together. To prepare, as we exhale, scoop, lift the bottom of that bone, engage the pelvic floor, head, shoulders, vertebrae by vertebrae, peel and fall. Brilliant. So tip from the hips, tuck the chin in, stretch all down the back of the neck. Breath in, nice and big, lengthen the spine. Exhale, slow and steady. Lift the bottom of that bone to resist gravity so your pelvic floor is engaged to lower yourself to the mat. Brilliant. Big deep breath in at the bottom. Exhale, scoop, shoulder, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way long, lift nice and long. Brilliant. Big deep breath in here. Perfect. Exhale, nice, slow and steady. Peeling all the way down again, engage that pelvic floor. Good. And last one. Big deep breath in at the bottom. And as we exhale slowly, 
peel ourselves all the way up and stretch nice and long. Just stay there for a moment. Brilliant. So big deep breath in, stretch long wherever the hands land on the feet or the legs is perfect for you this morning. Well done. Brilliant. Excellent. So when you're ready then, just come back to your seated position. Well done. We're ready then, we'll come round into our all fours. Good. So we'll just get a bit of movement in our spine. And then from there, we're going to work a bit on the glutes. And then we'll do one or two rounds of our plank. And then we get a nice stretch. Okay, so we're nearly there. So onto our all fours position. So some feel, people feel it a little bit easier to get your pelvic floor in your all fours position. So work with whichever way, you know, it takes practice in each position. But so we'll start here. So hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. So you are physically moving your pelvis and your hips on this one. So really think of engaging that pelvic floor as you exhale and draw your navel back towards your spine and you're rounding your shoulders up towards the roof, okay? So all the movement coming from your spine, but really focusing on that pelvic floor breath. So as you breathe in, let the belly drop, let the chin and the tailbone lift towards the ceiling. Feel a stretch in the front body and then as you exhale, tuck. Engage the pelvic floor, brilliant. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Round the shoulders up towards the ceiling, but really think about that pelvic breath. Brilliant. Big deep breath in. Scoop and sweep the shoulders back. Lift the chin and the tailbone. Brilliant. As you exhale, engage again. Tuck that pelvic floor. Good. Squeeze and zip everything in. Brilliant. Big deep breath in. We'll do one more. Stretch nice and long. Lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Perfect. And exhale. Engage the pelvic floor around the shoulders. All the way up towards the ceiling. Perfect. So from there, then we're going to go back to the legs. So like we started, so we're going to stay here in position to start. I want you to think of your hips and your pelvis. So like these are like two headlamps. We want to keep those facing the ground. So when a leg lifts, try not to let the hips go off center. Okay. So you're squeezing all these transverse abdominals, lifting the pelvic floor to keep everything here nice and strong. So gaining control here of the hips and the pelvis. Brilliant. So when you're ready, then we go with the left foot first. So we're going to take a big deep breath in to prepare, and then as you exhale, the left foot is going to lift off the mat and stretch nice and long. Try not to let the back fall. Keep the tummy nice and strong. Lift through this big glute muscle at the back, but keeping the core nice and controlled. Brilliant. So as you breathe in, then you can just let the leg drop down. Keep control on the core. Don't let the knee fully hit the mat. Exhale, nice and controlled. Engage the pelvic floor, stretch the leg long. You can keep the exhale going to come back to center. Take a breath in to prepare, good. Exhale, squeeze, point the toes nice and long. So get control of it, squeeze the glute muscle at the back. You can keep the exhale going, come back to center. So this just getting us warmed up, then we'll make it a bit tougher after this. Brilliant, stretch nice and long. So I just want you to get the control of the hips. Draw the belly bone back towards the spine and relax that leg down, perfect. Then we go to the opposite side. So again, two headlamps facing to the mat. Nice and controlled, get the back nice and long in a nice tall, long position. Breath in to prepare as we exhale, the right leg slowly lifts. So watch that the weight doesn't shift over to the left side too much. Perfect, nice and controlled, back to center. Good, we'll do two more. Breath in to prepare, Exhale, draw up that pelvic floor as the leg stretches long, point the toes, squeeze the back of the leg, and keep the exhale going to come back to center. And one more. Breath in to prepare. Exhale, stretch long. Brilliant. Squeeze all the muscles in the backs of the legs. Perfect. And relax. Brilliant. So from there then, we're going to go with our 90 degree angle, but we're going to come up into our bare crawl position. So we're going to tuck the toes under. So what we want is to keep control of those hips again. So we'll just hold a couple of breaths in the bear crawl position first. So keep the knees right in below the hips as much as you can so they're not too far back. Hands planted into the mat. Big deep breath in to prepare and then exhale. Just lift the shins off the mat. Hold the back nice and strong so don't let the back arch. So you can start now to really breathe nice and strong as the heart rate goes up a little bit because the whole body has to work here. Hands below the shoulders. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Engage that pelvic floor. Perfect. Brilliant. Good. And then relax for a second. Well done. Let the knees down. So the next time we go up, we're keeping the 90 degree angle of the leg and we're flexing our heel up towards the ceiling, but the opposite leg stays in position. So just watch me for a moment. 
So nice and controlled, bare crawl position again to start. Then we lift the left leg first. It stays in the same position. We lift from the glute. The heel flexes towards the ceiling. The right knee stays in position and back down. We go to the opposite side. Nice and controlled. Join in when you're ready. Flex the heel. The leg stays in that 90 degree angle. Good. Hold everything strong here now. If you feel the back side starts to lift and you're losing control, just hold your bare crawl position. Brilliant. So flex the heels. You really feel the backs of the glutes nice and strong working. Perfect. Hold the shins parallel. We do one or two more each side. Brilliant. Nice and control down. Perfect. Squeeze up. Keep that control on the pelvic floor of the core. Last one. Flex. And relax. Well done. Brilliant. Just let yourself sit back, stretch the arms nice and long. Nearly there. Well done. Brilliant. So next one, we're going to come into our plank position. So we're going to hold our full plank first. And then our last move then, we're going to come down into our forearm plank. We're going to add in leg lifts. So again, focusing here on the backs of the legs. And then we get a nice stretch, nice back stretch. A nice hip flexor stretch to finish, okay? So, when we're ready, we'll come down into our high plank first. So, go straight to your elbows if you need, if you have any wrist trouble or any back trouble. So, in your plank, never ever feel anything in your lower back. If you start to feel something in your lower back, stop, reset. Really get control, control of the core, the pelvic floor. That's where we want all the fire to come in from the belly. So, use the full hand. Suction cup the fingers, don't rely on the backs of the wrists. So to come into your nice long plank position, we'll straighten one leg all the way out first. So we're nice and long, and then big deep breath in to prepare. Exhale, opposite leg comes up to meet. Good, so hold here now, nice and strong. Shoulders are strong. Start to really engage that pelvic breath. Good, so big deep breath in. Hold control. Exhale, really engage that pelvic floor, so yes, Backs of the legs, shoulders, legs, or everything is feeling it. But try and turn your focus towards that center point, engaging the bottom of that bowl. Brilliant. Draw the belly button back towards the spine, lift everything underneath up. One more breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and relax down. Perfect. You let your head rest. Bend the knees in and gently just let them rock from side to side. Perfect. And then our last bit of work. So we'll hold the forearm plank first, and then we'll add in our leg lifts, and then we get a nice stretch, okay? So we plant the two hands. So come up onto the knees to get set. Into our forearms then, so the elbows directly below the shoulder. Palms are flat to the mat, so we're not using fists. We don't want to round the shoulders. Palms flat, elbows below the shoulders. Same way to get into position. One leg long first, and then the other one comes up to me. So roll yourself over so the Shoulders are above the elbows. Watch the neck. So the head, the gaze is looking around the forearms or the hands, but the head isn't falling through. Brilliant. So again, engage that pelvic floor in through the nose, out through the mouth. Hold everything nice and strong. Hips up a touch if you need. Don't let the lower back start to drop. Everything is strong. Brilliant. One more breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And relax down, perfect. So you shouldn't be able to hold a plank for too long. If you're really engaged in that pelvic floor and turning all mind-muscle connection towards that center point, perfect. Last one, well done, brilliant. So into the plank position, and we're doing leg lifts. So the leg is moving as one. So try not to bend the knee. Think of the pelvis and the hips again, two headlamps facing towards the mat and don't let them off focus, okay? So you're not shifting the weight from side to side. So everything has to stay strong, that core has to stay strong, pelvic floor, all the transverse abdominal is zipping all the way around. So, get ready, into our plank position. Last bit of work. Up we come, so stretch your one leg long if you need. Hold that plank position, big deep breath. As we exhale, lift one leg as one, only a tiny bit off the mat, and back down. Keep the two headlamps facing forward. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, squeeze. Lift from the glutes and back down. Good. Hold the tummy nice and strong. Let's just do a couple of these. Brilliant. Hold the plank if it gets too much. Well done. Just lift the foot. Tiny bit off the mat at a time. 
Perfect. Last one or two each side. Hold strong. Lift the leg as one. Brilliant. Engage that pelvic floor. Good. Brilliant. And relax. Perfect, guys. Well done. Let the head relax down. Bend the legs in. Just let gently let the rock come on from side to side. Perfect. So we'll do a good bit more planks. Now the next time, next week we're going to have you for Pilates, hopefully. Great. So, when you're ready then, we'll just stretch out the lower back, stretch out the tummy. So let the tummy now completely relax. Bring the hands back in by your side, glue the elbows in by your side. Hips and toes into the floor, nice and slowly, always very gently with the lower back. Peel yourself all the way up, good. Just come up as far as feels good for you, roll the shoulders back and down, good. As you exhale, slow and steady, peel yourself down to the mat again. Two more, big deep breath in, nice and slowly, peel ourselves up. Perfect, exhale, slowly down, good. And last one, big deep breath in, slowly peel up. Perfect, this time push all the way back. Sit right back onto the heels, creep the arms nice and long, let the head drop. So think of someone pulling your hips all the way back. And then someone at the front pulling the hands nice and long. Brilliant. Good, then nice and steady, come up then. Arms to the knees, we'll just get a stretch of the hip flexors. So, we'll stretch the right leg out nice and long. Good. So from there then, sink yourself forward. So open up this left hip flexor. Keep this right knee nice and strong. So the knee is back behind the toes. Good. So the left foot is down, left knee is down on the ground. Lift this left hand all the way up and slightly go out towards the right hand side. Feel a stretcher all down the left hand side. Brilliant. So relax into it. Breathe on the exhale, sink a little bit more forward. Keep this right knee out in the direction of the ankle. Perfect, well done. And from there, then let the two hands down either side of the right foot. Sit the hips back, straighten out this left right leg nice and long. Toes pointed back towards us. So try relax a little bit further. Let the chest fall towards the right leg. Brilliant. Perfect, and then we'll swap sides. So nice and gently up onto the knees. This time, let the left foot out in front. Take your time. Sink the hips in forward. Good. Open up this right flip, hip flexor this time. Left, or sorry, right knee on the ground. Right knee comes up and stretches over. Brilliant. Keep strong through the front heel, front knee. Excellent. Brilliant. Let the two hands down again, either side. Good, let the toes back towards us, let the chest fall towards the left side. Let the knee relax. Brilliant. Perfect, then from there, two hands into the mat, tuck the toes, lift the hips nice and high, stretch the backs of the legs. Come right up onto your tippy toes and pedal out one heel at a time. Brilliant, so get right down the backs of the calves, the Achilles, and then nice and slowly walk yourself in to meet the hands, and slowly peel yourself up. Brilliant. So thanks so, so much for joining in, whether it's now with me first thing in the morning or later on in the day. Brilliant. So hope you're enjoying our classes. Do let us know how you're getting on and um, enjoy the rest of the day. Stay safe, guys. Thanks, million. Brilliant. Oh, Lisa, thanks so much for joining in. Didn't see you there. Brilliant. So have a good day. Thanks, million, guys. Brilliant.